probably gonna be just a few days in their life I don't know how it's gonna go but you guys already know however it goes we go but we're starting off the vlog I have my hair in um, these rollers so I put them in these rollers yesterday so yesterday the plan was actually to braid my hair and then I got tired because so I was braiding my hair and then halfway through braiding my hair not halfway like two lines in I'm like I'm tired and I said to myself I promised myself that I was gonna pay somebody next time to do my hair and I think that that's what I really want to do and I think my body is actually telling me that it's tired you know so I'm about to outsource a lot of things like doing my hair my nails I'm about to like get them done by people because I'm tired and I'm ready to hone into like my soft side okay I'm tired of being the woman who can take care of everything DIY I mean I love me a good DIY but I also want to be you know want to be able to take care of myself in a way that I allow people to take care of me if it makes sense you know like go to the salon go to the salon to do my nails to wash my hair to get my hair braided so that I can relax my body you know so that I can have time to you know do the things that I have to do around the house create content and not always be stressed that I have to do my nails no so I'm about to be booking an appointment and shit like legit but anyway good morning I'm heating up some leftover jollof rice um, I just wanted to open up the vlog today is filming day you guys already know the vibe by now every Monday is filming day today I have um, intentions of filming for TikTok I'm doing a get ready with me for TikTok and then I will do a takedown of this for Instagram Reels and I have to film the podcast I'm filming two new episodes today because you guys have been so nice okay the reception for the first episode talking about adulthood friendship I am so happy um, with the comments that we're getting on that one so we're definitely bringing up the next episode okay next episode let's get into it um, but yeah that's what I'm gonna I'm sorry my camera cut off um, but I'm gonna do that content and I'm also off work tomorrow because I took a day off because I'm taking an online class I don't know if I mentioned that but I started taking an online class and um, I want to use like my vacation time from work to you know go through majority of the class um, but yeah so I have tomorrow off so that's a good thing so I get to spend two whole days with you guys my girlies and then I go back to work on Wednesday but yeah 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 enough of the ranting but <laughs> i have this bottle from amazon and i really wanted to show you guys this is one of those bottles that has you know the you know little motivation that helps you to drink water so we like that i'm going to be filling this up cleaning this up and then filling this up with water and then this is going to be like my whole day's water that i drink because it goes all the way not actually like whole day but from 7 a.m to 5 p.m no to 7 p.m so that's good to 7 p.m that's good that's really good so we're gonna do that and it holds about 75 ounces of water so that's really good that's a big jug as you can see like it's a really big one but it's from amazon so she's always going to be linked for you guys down below and um yeah let me save my husband some food you know my baby <laughs> you know he's my baby i'm not gonna lie my husband is literally my baby like i treat him like a baby i legit treat him like a baby 
yeah <laughs> leftover jollof rice is always the best if you can really it's comment below i guess leftover food is always the best like it is literally always the best and i decided to warm this up on the gas instead of microwave so it kind of looks like you know it's bent but also you know we're trying to you know sometimes when you watch social media and then you see all these things you're like let me try to be a little more traditional you know what i'm saying if you get what i'm saying but sometimes i just i'm like let me try to be a little more traditional and do it you know how we originally would do it if all the comfort wasn't there because you know honestly microwave and all these things they're really comfort so yeah i'm just gonna get into this it's actually 12 it's exactly 12 it is exactly 12 like literally 12 so i'm breaking my fast right now so i'm gonna go eat this with my husband um inish Initially, I was supposed to be giving him food, but I'm gonna be eating some. <laughs> the whole plan was to like give him food and go and film, but it's 12, so I might as well eat. It is time for me to drink my protein, and I got some new protein um, powder. So, the one that I used to have was from Pure Protein, and I like that stuff. It is, I feel like it's basic protein powder, but it's good but yeah this is the one that they didn't have that one they didn't have that one so i had to get this one this is designer whey whey protein powder but this one has 20 grams of protein and then it also has some probiotics so that's always good i'm gonna put it's crazy how this neighborhood is so small but it's so loud Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm hoping that it doesn't taste different from pure protein because I don't like change in certain areas, especially when I get comfortable with them. You know, things like my food. I like to be comfortable with my food. Okay, this is really not bad. It's actually really nice. It's good. It's really good it doesn't taste off it doesn't taste weird protein it's nice it's, it's literally what i was expecting it to be i don't want any like added taste i just want protein and like i mean vanilla but also you know don't put any extra stuff inside i don't want to taste it i'm just gonna get get into filming i just uploaded the vlog that goes up this week my vlogs goes up every monday i'm trying to do sundays because i um, i was looking at my analytics and i see that a lot of you guys are here on sundays so i'm thinking if i should do sundays but comment below let me know do you guys prefer the vlogs on mondays or sundays because i feel like every youtuber under the sun brings out their vlogs on sundays which makes sense because everybody's home on sundays but on mondays ciao i be getting bored like i'm not even kidding like on mondays I get hella bored because you know I'm home on Mondays and I have to film and do the other so when I finish everything at the end of the day or sometimes when I'm like cleaning the kitchen or cooking on Mondays I want to watch some vlogs and because on Sunday I finish everything because I usually do I'm not gonna lie sometimes I don't have enough to cover Monday so I feel like my vlog will be one of those vlogs where like you're like mm, I finish everything let me watch a vlog you know what i'm saying so let me know comment below but for right now i'm comfortable with mondays because it works a lot better with my schedule and you know my strengths and everything but yeah i just put it out i'm gonna get into filming the train is coming by so i will see you guys later good morning guys good morning happy tuesday oh my goodness I don't know why I feel very anxious I'm not gonna lie I feel very anxious I feel like it's because I'm about to drive yes <laughs> I feel like it's because I'm about to drive I'm going to do grocery I'm holding my camera but yeah I'm gonna go do some grocery I don't have work today I think I mentioned that yesterday 
Um, so I want to go and do some quick, not like grocery, grocery. It's really from a pest food um, that is finished. So I have to re-up on that one. And then I also want to buy some, um, I want to order some breakfast because I feel very tired. I don't know why. I just feel very tired. So I'm going to order some breakfast and yeah, just, you know, buy a few things that I need. I also need some brown pencil. So I'll get that and then I'll come back home. Um, but I am driving today because again, you guys know that I'm still learning how to drive. And I am also trying to get into driving school because I feel like I need that. You know, I need someone who is unfamiliar, <laughs> you know, and then I need to also drive on the, you know, the highway so that I get familiar with that. But yeah. I'm going to go do that grocery. I just feel very anxious for whatever fucking reason. I don't know why. But I did some breathing exercises while I was in the shower. So that definitely helps. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say good morning and let's get out of here. It's 10 a.m. already, so let's go. What? How you dance when you get back home? I'm home. I am home. I brought us home. Back and forth. I packed. I did reverse. I did all of the stuff and I'm back home. Right, my buff you. What's it like, babe? What it do? I'm back home, guys. I've been back home. This is the breakfast I'm about to eat. Just get into the day. It's currently 12:17. So this is going to be my first meal. I'm on the phone with my family back home. <laughs> As per usual, the life of every immigrant is like being on the phone with family back home. That's just literally the life. Um, but yeah, this looks really good. I have toasted bread, um, wheat bread. I have some omelets and then I have some home fries. This is from, a reg um, uh, I was going to say regular, but this is from one local cafe that we have here. We buy from food from them very often and Hey guys, so I have finished filming all of the contents that I have to do for today Let me test my microphone. I'm testing out a different microphone, obviously Oh, whoa Cartoons, no? So, yeah, comment below. Let me know if you guys like the sound quality but let me put you guys on the stairs because we have a new package from Amazon. We have a delivery from Amazon. So let's see. So I have... Oh, this is for my husband. <laughs> this is my husband's shorts. So I'm just going to put that to the side. But I also have something here for in front of my pie. Let me grab my box cutter. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So this is what we have. Let me take you guys to the living room. So that oh. Emma, I have to pause your cartoons, mommy. I would let me pause your cartoon. Okay, guys. So I had to change it from a fire up really quickly. Oh. So we have a kid's rug. This, it's a kid's rug apparently. <laughs> it's actually very quality, like it feels very quality. Wow. So you can put it in your kid's room if you have like a room dedicated. My infant doesn't have a room just yet. But you know, when they have their own room, this is definitely such a good idea because it feels literally like a rug but then it has like a b c d you know this is so cool this is so cool this is so cool so i'm just gonna lay this out in the living room for here and then i'll show you guys how it looks like because it's so cool so this is what it looks like guys and i mean this is the length and everything <laughs> 
and she's even working on it already but it's so cool like i really like it okay guys so oh now my bra popping out disrespectful hello <laughs> um <laughs> i'm about to get into making some dinner it is 6 p.m right now it's spring obviously you see the sun is still out that's how you know that it's spring okay that's how you know that it's spring because in fall winter when it's 4 p.m it is dark outside okay it's giving it's cold outside outside <laughs> but in spring and in summer it's always like you know longer days so i'm here for that but i have to cook also my battery is flashing so i don't know if i can be able to take you guys through i want to make oxtail but a dupe for oxtail <laughs> If it even makes sense. So I'm making oxtail just without the oxtail. I'm using beef to make the oxtail recipe for the oxtail. So I'm making rice and peas and beef oxtail but without oxtail if you get what I'm saying. Um, and I really wanted to cook with you guys. So let's see if my camera can hold up for a second. By the way my bra keeps popping out. It's disrespectful but let's get into making some dinner and being a wife and a mom. It's literally time for that duty. <laughs> So let's get into it, all right? Okay, let's try this. I wish I had eyes in the back of my head. I've been working on my pride, but the rest of me cares. Every time I feel alive, it be loving the year. You my sinner, don't fold like it's vanity fair. Every time that I be done, then I be running to you. It's ironic that I'm scared, but I'm calling you boo. Please don't ghost me, love me, hug me, hold me, see me, grow me. I see whole thing, bragging, boasting. To all of my niggas, working on my pride, I've been working on my pride, yeah I've been really scared, but the nigga really trying, yeah Never bite my tongue when there's something on my mind, yeah Baby, you a gem, I never leave you under mine, yeah Prayer's just a phase and we get it back in line, yeah This is dinner, guys Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of myself So imagine if I actually had oxtail it would look really good this is my i mean this is hubby and i together we're eating together so i made like a big bowl for both of us but yeah this is dinner we're just gonna go enjoy if we're probably sleeping so yeah we're just gonna go have mommy and daddy time <laughs> good morning guys good morning um it's thursday i just finished filming a video for Instagram but this will go up on Friday because I have a photo that I post today but good morning I just thought I'd pick up the camera and say hi to you guys you know just pop on here looking cute because why not I created somewhat like um, some sort of like a monochrome I look and I really like it it's orange it's giving spring it's giving color you know I'm doing more colorful looks and then also another thing is I feel like I am definitely in my soft girl era when I started my makeup journey I was very loud with my makeup like my every step was loud but now I am such like a toned down girl like oh my goodness it's so cute but anyway it's 11 so I have to take all of this off and go to work so let's take you guys to the bathroom and then I will take off my makeup. <laughs> I put the towel where the towel is supposed to be. And then this is also really like a towel rack and like a morning coat rack and whatnot. So, I mean, I guess that's just the reality of life. But it was just a lot in the background, so I had to take it off. But anyway, let's go ahead and take off this makeup because... I low-key do I, it's not like low-key I don't like going to work with my makeup and you know I feel like I need to be touching up every time and I don't have that time or patience maybe not time patience I don't have it so and while I'm taking off the makeup I just want to chat with you guys just a little bit okay oh I feel like I have so many hair conversations with you guys that it's a lot okay like i'm always talking about hey 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 i guess i'm attached to my hair which is okay the thing is 
I've been thinking about a lot of things, you know? I've been thinking about a lot of things in the past few days. And one of the main things that I've been thinking about is every time that I put on a wig for so long, it just reiterates how much of not a wig girl I am. <laughs> like, I like wearing wigs, but I like to take it off at the end of the day. I'm not the kind of person to sleep with my front tail for two days, three days. And whenever I do that, it just reminds me of how much I don't like it. Like, it literally just reminds me of, no, because... I like to clean my entire body when I'm taking my shower and like, you know, doing my skincare. I like to know that I've got... Sorry guys, my camera cut off. And then I also had to wash my face because I have work. So I really don't have time. But I'm going to reapply my skincare and then go back to work. I mean, go to work. But I was saying that um, every time I put on frontals... It just makes me like it just makes me know how much of a not frontal person I am definitely a natural hair you know and when I say natural hair I mean my own hair kind of person that's why I guess my hair is always um, like a topic for discussion for me because I want to be able to wear my hair out you know to I want to be able to wear my hair out you know that I don't need to add. I mean, the I want to be able to do braids, you know, when I feel like it, wear wigs when I feel like it. But for the most part, I want to wear my hair out. You know, I want to wear my hair out. And it's a really pressing thing for me. And I guess that's why I'm always talking about my hair. Yeah, I'm scouting for a good hairdresser because I feel like I also need a pro to like, you know, show me a thing or two because i'm definitely not about to go to hair school just to learn about my hair with that being said i also feel like i still need to know about my hair so i guess a salon or a pro styler will be someone who is good so i'm scouting around um massachusetts is not the best place to like find anything i'm not gonna lie like i guess maybe because i don't know so many people around and i also don't have family like around here you know my family is all the way in texas so <laughs> that's like 18 hours away from where i live it's annoying but it is what it is um because the frontal definitely pulls on my hair and I know that, you know, like I have all my edges pulled back into it. You know, I lay it down with gel so that I know that my hair is like pulled away and I cover it with um, a dome cap. But then also the skin there, because last night I was like, when I passed my, when I tried to like run my fingers across my hairline, it kind of hits. Like it has, there's this weird pain. And I know a lot of people say, just take off the wigs and wear your hair out and wear your hair. It's so easy for you to say that. <laughs> so easy for you to say that. But yeah, I'll figure out something. I will figure out something. Um, but um, for right now, I'm just going to leave it in cornrows. I'm also expecting a closure wig. So I feel like closure wigs will help a lot because then that one, I don't have to glue it down. You know, my entire front hair, I mean, my entire hairline. And then I will try to cut that closure in a way that I can use it as like a glueless closure, you know. Because one way or the other, a girl has to look presentable. <laughs> and that's just, that's just what it is. Like, I obviously have to look presentable. And I have bad hair days where I just don't want to deal with my hair. And I have good hair days where I'm like, yep, my hair is looking so good. And I'm ready to show up. But you guys know me. I show up in whatever version my hair looks like. So, yeah. It's not even a problem for me. But again, I want to be able to get to a stage where I can just wear my hair out without, you know, feeling the need to. And this is, I guess this is just me being vulnerable with you guys. Um, I don't want to feel the need to wear wigs because, you know, I want to present myself in a way as a content creator. Um... I want to be able to wear my hair out and it's low-key hard sometimes and it's just the truth it's low-key hard sometimes there's just so much finessing that i can't do and i think i've said it so many times in so many hair videos that i've done but there's just so much finessing that you can do with 
a damaged hairline you know there's just so much finessing that you can do but yeah that's just my little rant i'm always ranting about my hair but you guys already know it's it's a topic of concern for me okay and eventually when my hair grows i'm sure that we will talk about it again but for right now i'm gonna go get dressed so that i can go to work and be the customer service agent that i'm supposed to be so let's go okay let's get out of here hey guys happy sunday so it is sunday today i look really fresh if you ask me like fresh skin freshly washed hair <laughs> that's how i feel like um but it's sunday and i have some packages that i want to show you guys so i have i'll put a photo of this one on the screen it's just a simple black dress it's one of those you know very simple it's just a black dress it is literally just a black dress but it doesn't go all the way down it's a midi black dress um depending on your i guess i guess depending on your height this will be either midi or mini um but yeah i decided to get this because i feel like during summer this will be very good to like just throw stuff onto you know um i can just throw a jacket onto this i can dress it up dress it down you know what i mean now next i have a package from kiss kiss always sends me pr all my lashes every makeup video that you guys see me do my lashes are always from kiss so i always recommend them and even before i got on their pr i was using their products a lot like that's what i use for my nails their lash glue kiss is the girl you know if you've been in makeup for a while you know that kiss is the girl when it comes to lashes lash glue stuff like that always kiss they have a new collection out called the muses this is what it looks like and this is cute it's just lashes guys it is literally just lashes so they send me different styles um and this is what they always do they always send me different styles so that i guess i can play around with them and i'm always so grateful i've been on their pr for a little over two years at this point and it always keeps coming so i'm very grateful i'm very i never take these things for granted because i remember there was a time in my makeup career where i definitely wanted to work with a lot of brands and i just wanted to be noticed by these brands so it feels good to know that you know um you know they still have my name on their pr it just feels really good to know that so yeah and then i also have boxy charm okay so this is actually something that i signed up for i'm not gonna lie i signed up for boxy charm i used to have boxy charm like three years ago and i like the I feel like I like the spontaneity that you get with the products because then it's always like different products. You don't know what you're getting. And then when you open it, it's always like, okay, I like this. I like this. I don't like that. So I always like that because, you know, also because I'm always doing skincare videos, makeup videos. I like to have different products. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's hard but I feel like a subscription service like this is the best for me because that way um yeah i felt like you guys were too down okay <laughs> so because that way i can you know try different stuff and then show people different stuff so in here i have a mascara from il maquillage i've never used a product from il maquillage so i'm excited to try this um yeah i'm definitely excited to try this one and then i have hmm, i don't know what this is i think this is a bronze uh yeah this is a bronzer it says havana bronzer so the name is give them lala i never seen this brand never used the brand but the name of the brand is give them lala it's give them lala beauty so another thing is when i hit 1k let me just say that when i hit 1k i am planning um what's it called a giveaway i'm planning a giveaway for you guys so i have a bunch of beauty products that's you know sometimes they're not my skin shade and what what but this is what the bronzer looks like my microphone went off guys so i have to quickly put in this voice over for you i have some new kitchen wear so i got some new pots and pans and some plates these are like some really nice seven dishes i'm gonna show you guys um and then i'll also put the description and everything i mean i'll put the details in the description for you guys um but these are from aya home they are the five piece ashanti set that's what it looks like 
isn't this just breathtaking guys like this is so beautiful and then the pots and pans also come in that really big box and then i have my spoons i mean my ladles and whatnot in this bag that i'm showing you right here this is the packaging for this is just a one okay it's i'm i'm happy um everything is just so worth it the lids for the pots and then i have my little you know brush that i use to clean them up and then these are the pots the one thing i like about these pots is they come with the silicone handle yep so it makes it a lot more easier for you to pick them up when you're cooking without burning yourself and then i have the woke this is i, I think that's what it's called and then you also have your frying pan and then and the handles are detachable you can attach them but yeah i'm so sorry guys oh my goodness guys so my microphone went off my microphone was off the whole time so everything that i said you guys did not hear me <laughs> everything that i said you guys did not hear me um i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I think I might just insert that video and do a voice over over it like just do a voice over and show you guys what I was trying to say because I showed you guys everything so I will do a voice over on that video um, but I'm sorry my microphone went off so yeah <laughs> Run away, run away to a brighter day Like a bad cup, a cup of tea